You know, one of the stories here at PMA is how high-end technology keeps migrating onto smaller and smaller platforms. I'm here with Eric Zarikoff from Photo Nation. He's going to tell us about their, their new ability to put face detection on cellular phone cameras. Well, thanks, Dave. Uh, we're really excited to, uh, to be here. Um, the thing we're showing here at the show is our uh, part of our face tracking technology on mobile phones. Now, as you know, face tracking has been uh, a very popular feature that's emerged last year on digital still cameras. What uh, you haven't seen is you haven't seen this technology migrate to the mobile phone market. And so what we've shown here is that we're actually leapfrogging our implementations, where we've had some implementations on the Pentax and Samsung cameras. And now what you're seeing on our, on our screen in front of us is a software-only implementation of face tracking detecting nine faces at the same time. Wow, that's amazing. So on a cell camera, in that little bitty processor, it's able right. to tr detect and track up to nine faces simultaneously. Exactly, and it's a software-only implementation at this point. Now, we certainly could do hardware assist, but the fact that we're tracking nine faces in software means that uh, our implementation can be upgraded in the field very easily, and, uh, and that's a portability and flexibility you don't get in implementations that are in hardware, which you have a, a year between implementations to do any sort of bug fixes or feature enhancements. Right. So we, as a software-only implementation, we can move very quickly and keep advancing the technology further. That's great. You don't have to wait for a custom chip implementation. Exactly. Uh, this, will, this will run in a lot of cameras that are out there. It's just a software upgrade, basically. Exactly. And so our ability to port is very fast. That's fantastic. And this device here is showing tracking those nine faces. I can actually demonstrate that it's live by blocking it. Exactly. And then take my hand away and it will reacquire and find all nine faces again. Exactly right. Wow, that's fantastic. And the reason this is, a, is attractive is that when you detect faces, you can then have the camera bias its exposure and focus depending on the face, not on the background. And so it, it, the, the theme of what a lot of what we work on is enabling technology that helps people take better pictures without having to be more sophisticated. So with face tracking, you can frame a picture and detect the focus and exposure on the face without having to reframe back and forth. And we have over here, too, we've got another demonstration running where it shows, again, the cell phone tracking, and it's able to track the face even when it rotates and it isn't, you know, square onto the camera. Exactly right. And so uh, what we're showing here is uh, tracking a face from frontal position, and then we will track all the way to the side, either side of the, uh, of the profile. And that's attractive because people's faces move around. They're not static.